As we sit cracking our reading comprehension section, there are various things that we need to keep in mind. The first important thing is selection of passages. There might be number of passages on your paper. You can't do all of them together. Even if you can do many of them, it is still very important to make a first, second, third selection and so on. So how to select the first passage in which you get the highest rate, rate of accuracy? So select the one which falls into the purview of your subject knowledge. So, this was my subject at my graduation level. So, this is the subject I have more extensive knowledge about. I can not only read this faster, but also understand it at a greater depth. Another thing, I will be familiar with the technical jargon of that particular topic and not pause over things that look unfamiliar. The next one is your liking. There might be subjects that you have more of interest in as compared to the others. You might be watching the stocks and shares or you might be follower of uh, politics or you have interest in history or archaeology or perhaps philosophy or spirituality. Maybe you read literature a lot and you understand the fine arts and other genres better. So uh, the second aspect that you will look at is those topics that you have more knowledge about as compared to the others. I simply mean to say familiarity. So, as you browse through your passages, just keep a note of the topics that you are looking at. After you have made your first selection, what are you going to do? Obviously, read the passage. So, we need to understand how to read the passage. Well, sounds strange, but there are various reading methods. So, we have the traditional method. In the traditional method, we read the passage first. Now, that is what our school teachers taught us. Read the passage carefully and answer the questions that follow. And that's what we did. Read the passage carefully, read the questions, got back to the passage and found our answers. That is our traditional method. But it doesn't work in competitive examinations where the clock is ticking every second away. So, let us look at the second method. That is my recommended method. It is the paragraph wise reading. So, what you do is read the passage paragraph by paragraph. Read one paragraph. Keep a tab on the keywords of the question. If your answer to question number 3 is in paragraph number 1, just mark it and then start reading the second paragraph. As you read the second paragraph, do the same. Keep an eye on the keywords of your questions because even in interpretation based questions, it is sometimes very important to locate the data in the passage. This is known as placing the content into the context. So content that gives you, uh, it is given to you in your question. You pick it up and you find out where in the passage has it been taken from. This is a very effective method which not only saves your time but also gives you the desired rate of accuracy. There is one more, one more method that I can suggest to you. Suppose you've done your, attempted your first and the second passage, but you still quickly want to do some questions from the third, but you don't really want to spend too much time doing it. So follow the reverse strategy method. Reverse. I don't mean to say that read the passage from bottom to top. No, I don't mean that. I simply mean to say that you read the questions first, make a note of the keywords 
of the question and if you feel that there are some really very doable questions by doable i mean to say uh, questions that are pertaining to data and you feel that yes the answer to these can be found in the passage very quickly or very evidently and i can attain an accuracy in them so you uh, pick up those keywords and briskly browse through cursorily go through the passage and your eyes must be only looking for those particular words as you find those words try and answer the question most likely you will find your answer there and these are some of the tips that will help you not only save your time but also gain you accuracy thank you